Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com. The Chris Voss Show. Hey, coming to here with another great podcast. We certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, hit that bell notification button on youtube.com for just Chris Voss. Be sure to go to the CVPN and check out our eight podcasts that we have over there. It's going to be an exciting week coming up. Holy crap. Next week is the CES show, Consumer Electronics. Uh, it's a technology show. It's going to be pretty freaking amazing put on by the CTA. Be sure we just had the CEO of CTA who puts on the CES show, Mr. Gary Shapiro, on the show a couple weeks ago. You can check out that interview as well. He always appears every year as a good friend of mine. Um, it's always good to know people at the show. Uh, so we're going to be talking with one of the sponsors that's going to be sponsoring the Chris Voss show at CES. They're helping us do all the coverage for you. You're going to see a ton of tweets and talking about them. And today we are visited by the CEO of this, uh, sponsor for us. It's, uh, Anastasia. Turkis. Did I get that right? Or did you I got you right, Chris? <laughs> all right. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the show. I'm doing very well. Thank you for having us and uh, happy new years and uh, with lots of excitement at CS to come. I was going to say, yeah, we're doing this on uh, January 1st, 2020. So we're in the new year pretty well. And I was like, I'm, is he going to show up? Because we, I mean, we all might have had too much fun last night, but we're all here and we all were good <laughs> last night and, and all that good stuff. So you're going to be launching a really cool app at CES. You guys are going to have a booth there. We'll talk about that here in a bit. Uh, but First, uh, let's talk about you. Uh, what, uh, what sort of business background, what, what, what got you into this business? You, you're launching what's called the Gifter app. You can find it at gift3rapp.com. And uh, give us some background on you and your restaurant business and where you've been. Uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm originally from the island of Cyprus, uh, Greece, and I've been in the United States for the last uh, 16 and a half uh, years right now. Opa! And uh, Opa, Opa it is, my friend. <laughs> Let's break a couple of plates. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I came, went to ASU, and uh, then for uh, somehow, uh, in a magical way, I got involved with uh, the restaurant industry over here in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, believe it or not, I'm not really the best chef or uh, know how to cook uh, precisely, to be specific. Uh, so got involved with the restaurant industry, managed to open up uh, seven restaurants. Uh, lately, I was, as of a couple of years ago, I was the founder and, uh, of a very popular wine bar, a Salute Kitchen Bar over here in uh, Tempe, Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, that has been around for the last seven years. Mm -hmm. So um, I also own a few Greek quick service restaurants, uh, uh, a pizza place, and uh, we, we were around the ASU community that uh, we happened to be open until 3.34 in the morning. So, wow. you know, being in the restaurant industry, has been, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. You have the ups and downs, but you also have the priceless memories that come uh, through the people you work with and the, the customers that come to see you. It's so, a heck of a business. What got you started in, did you do any of that in Greece or did you just find that business when you came no, over here? No, it was uh, just an opportunity while I was uh, here in the States with some friends and uh, yeah, there was an opportunity for us to get involved and uh, uh, three, three, three guys, three friends uh, started from a small uh, Greek quick service restaurant. Uh, we gave it a shot and uh, in a period in uh, maybe like five years, we managed to open up uh, four locations around uh, Phoenix, Arizona called uh, Cyprus uh, Pita Grill. Mm -hmm. And uh, back then the economy was, uh, was really thriving. People, people were happy, people were making money. And of course, a bunch of shenanigans, you know, like on another level from, uh, <laughs> from the economic side of the war. And uh, we were able to kind of go through the harsh uh, of 2008 and 2009, where we kind of had to, I had to go through the hard times and shut down the business uh, mm -hmm. uh, and experience that, uh, which uh, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing to go through when you are like 23, 24 years old, uh, making plenty of money, you own a restaurant and uh, restaurants have this tendency to be considered prestigious because they are hard to kind of run. So being young, being, uh, being ignorant and uh, naive, uh, but also have the passion of the entrepreneur that uh, he never, he never uh, slows down. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we went through a lot. We went through a lot, uh, learned a lot, shut down everything in 2009, went through some hard times, and then mm -hmm. 
got back on uh, my feet uh, with, uh, by getting involved with a couple of other restaurants that I helped uh, consulted and started from scratch uh, uh, with a couple of other owners. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been an interesting trip um, uh, through the years. Uh, it's, well, it's a good uh, business because everybody needs food. Everyone's got to eat. So. <laughs> and I love Greek food. I'm a big Euro fan. Uh, I love Greek salads. They're always so healthy, and I love feta cheese. So, you know. <laughs> the, the Mediterranean cuisine is pretty, it's pretty <clears throat> amazing. I mean, you sit on the table, and you have uh, everything the body needs to survive from uh, your yogurt, from your Greek salad, the Greek olives. Uh, mm. It's, it's a def- definitely a healthy cuisine uh, as far as I concern. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, Greece is such a beautiful country and stuff. It's such a beautiful country. It, it's, it's such a wonderful place and it's so amazing in the food and, and, uh, I'm getting hungry talking about this. <laughs> so, so you've, you've been an entrepreneur all your life. And so now you're launching this app called gift three R app.com. You can go check it out or you can search for that on the app stores for iPhone and Android. Uh, and they call it the gift or app. The three is the E if you will. So what, what's motivated you to start this app and what is it about? So, I mean, being in the restaurant industry for the last 14 years, I have been able to experience the, the opportunities and potential, the gift cards have, uh, and we started, you know, like, uh, you know, 14 years ago, we had paper gift cards. Then we got introduced to the plastic gift cards. Later on in the last maybe like four or five years, we have the electronic gift cards that they work through email and text messaging. So it came mostly as a need uh, how to better serve my customers. Uh, uh, and the reason is because uh, we had, uh, you know, we were selling uh, paper and uh, plastic gift cards uh, at the, some of the restaurants that we had. And uh, some, of the, uh, some of the frustrations that our empl- uh, customers had, it was the fact that... Uh, uh, many times, one of the problems that we had, like customers had to call our restaurants to place a, a gift card order for a friend. Mm-hmm. And uh, most of the times you had to kind of, you know, take their information, credit card information over the, over the phone, then take, ask for the friend's uh, address so we can, we can mail the gift card. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, so it was a little bit uh, hassle and uh, I was always looking for ways to better serve my customers. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, that's how the idea of uh, how to better serve the needs of the customers and my business and make mm-hmm. it more efficient. How can we create something more uh, efficient for the customer, but also efficient for us uh, to maximize our potential when it came to gift cards? Mm-hmm. So that's where the original uh, you know, uh, idea came uh, about two and a half years ago. And then six months later, I sold my, my restaurant in Tempe and I kind of, uh, uh, I thought I would give it a shot. Um, Another thing that it kind of inspired me, it was the fact that uh, I got married about a year and a half or two years ago. And uh, <laughs> on our wedding, we ended up receiving about $6,000 of gift cards. And, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty, I mean, <laughs> friends, <laughs> friends really loved us a lot. <laughs> That's nice. Here's a gift card. <laughs> and it was kind of funny because we received, uh, I got a little bit frustrated because every single gift card was from a, a big corporate company. And the funny story that I was joking with my wife, we got about, uh, I think it was like 1200 bucks, 1500 bucks from uh, Home Depot and uh, Lowe's. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it doesn't mean because I got married, uh, I'm going to start uh, digging my backyard or painting the house. So we end up with, you know, that money. And uh, it's been literally two years. We barely used any of that money. And I'm like, how can we create something that... Uh, I can actually give the money back to my local community, you know? Oh, that's interesting. And uh, one of the frustrations doing the research about gift cards the last uh, 26 months is that uh, consumers, uh, the biggest problem we have is that we don't know ahead of time what our friends and loved ones like or need, uh, uh, either on a celebration or birthday, anniversary or anything. And uh, as a convenience consumer, we end up buying gift cards from local grocery stores and gas stations. And because that's where you can find a kiosk full of gift cards, right? Yeah, they always have and, those kiosks. 
And the problem with, uh, mm-hmm. with that is that none of those plastic gift cards cater to a small local business that my friends and loved ones like to support, correct? Yeah, that's true, huh? It's always the big box stuff. It's always the big box. And a small mom and pop business cannot just wake up one day, go knock on uh, targets or Safeway <laughs> doors and say, you know what, I want to sell my gift cards. Yeah. So small local business, they lose on big potentials on food traffic when it mm-hmm. comes for... Uh, are maximizing their profits. So at our restaurants, we will get a, you know, we will sell gift cards two weeks before graduation and two weeks before Christmas and New Year's, and we will sell a lot of gift cards. And the beauty with the gift cards is that it's, uh, it's cash in the pocket of the small local business ahead yeah. of time because yeah. you sell the gift card today, you get paid today, and the customers usually don't come in for another 60 to 90 days to redeem their gift card. Even if they show up. I mean, that was one of the beauties <laughs> of, of like Groupon because people would buy Groupons and then they'd forget about them. Like I would, I would always buy Groupons and I'd forget <laughs> about them. And then I look on it and I'm like, oh shit, that expired. Just, yes. But you know, I mean, it, it helps business and you know, you think you're getting a good deal. I'm not one of those people who's good. I know a lot of people like my mom, she's like, we got to use this before it goes. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, there you go. Yes, and, yes. Uh, so you, you guys is, uh, your guys, there's a, there's two different facets to your guys' uh, app that you're doing. You're making it so these mom and pop places, these businesses can take and use your app to take a market and sell those uh, to their customers. And then uh, you have the other side, which is the givers and receivers. So people like me, if I want to give you a gift card, I can go on your app and do that as well. Correct? Uh, yes. So GiftedUp is a digital gift card marketing platform for uh, givers and receivers that uh, help support local businesses. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do we mean where we're kind of different when it comes to our platform is uh, uh, coming from the restaurant industry and being around people. I, we wanted to create something that it can be inviting and engaging and not just another platform that you buy a gift card, you send it and... Uh, that's it. So some of the cool features the platform has uh, for the givers and receivers as a community is that uh, uh, users uh, get to search and discover favorite local uh, restaurants, coffee shops, hair salons, and more. And uh, they can also invite their favorite local business at a click of a button to join Gifter App. Mm-hmm. Another cool feature the app has uh, uh, they can also invite their favorite. Uh, they can also invite their friends and loved ones uh, by simply accessing their contacts uh, through the app uh, and uh, sending an invitation to a friend by attaching a personalized text messaging. That's pretty easy because then you don't have to do all the, you know, hey, what's your address, man? And like I, I've actually sent gift cards to my friends, or like I'll have like a a thing from Starbucks, but and but I'll have to be like I have to call up my friends and be really creepy and be like. Hey, I'm gonna send you a Starbucks thing. Can you give me your email address? And they're just like, What's that's going on, um, th- that's another problem. That's another big problem that uh, consumers we have. We don't have a way to know ahead of time what our friends want. Yeah, and that was one of the problems I was facing in the restaurants where I had to ask my customers, okay, are you sure your friend likes our business? How do you know? And they will say, you know what? Oh, I just call them up and I ask them. So mm-hmm. for us, uh, hence we have an anthropologist on our team, is that uh, when you call your friend and you ask them what do you want to uh, uh, buy for them, you are eliminating the feeling of surprise, the feeling yeah. of joy that uh, really comes, the spirit of joy that comes with the gift. Uh, and uh, one of the cool features the gift app has, it allows you to discover, search and discover your favorite local business. And if they are on the app, you can... Uh, simply select the the heart button we have and this allows uh, our uh, users to uh, identify their favorite business and add them on their wish list aka a a registry list like amazon and target so in three clicks your friends can uh, go into their contacts select your name and can they can see your wish list and literally in three clicks they can send you a gift card uh, from your favorite coffee shop, uh, hair salon, massage store, uh, yoga studio. And in this way, we, we keep the feeling of uh, the gift and the spirit of the gift alive uh, among friends. Uh, uh, so that's another cool feature that the app currently has that really differentiates us from, uh, from the classic uh, corporate gift cards you can buy from, uh, you know, from kiosk uh, uh, and, around, and around the market right now. 
And you're right. When I sent that card to my friend, I, you know, I blew my cover, you know, he's like, Oh, yo, you're sending me something, you know? And it was a, it was a nice surprise. It was a friend of mine who uh, always invites me out to Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Uh, she puts on a, uh, a Friendsgiving and she always invites me out to, to the Thanksgiving and she puts on for like 50 singles people in Las Vegas. And she, she always reaches out to me cause she knows I'm single and my family's in another state. And so I, I had like a deal from uh, Starbucks and I was like, Oh man, I got this great deal. Who should I give this to? And I'm like, Oh, I should give it to her. Cause she, she always hooks me up. But then I'm like, Oh shit. I don't know her contact or, you know, her email that I guess Starbucks wanted. So I'm signing up to the app right now. Let me hold this up. And uh, I don't know how you guys will see it, but if you get a chance, go to the app store and type in gift three R the letter R app and uh, it should pull right up there. Pull for, up for me and search. Or if you want more information, you can also go to gift three R app.com. And you can just call it the gifter app the way they have the three. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the uh, code in here, six, three, seven, three. And my password, which is one, two, three, four, five. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but this is awesome. I, you know, one of the other problems that I have when you go to those big uh, gift card bins, it's like you got to go down to the store and then you got to look for it. And then the thing that makes me mental is there's so many gift cards, but the one you want isn't on this store's thing. And then you got to drive all over town. You got to go to like, you know, you go to the Walmart and oh, it's not there. And then you go to the 7-Eleven and it's not there. And then, you know, you got to figure out which one has got that card for that company. And it's just maddening sometimes. You're just like, and so I like this because I can just download the app and uh, I can see here. Now, does this know my proximity and my location? So it's going to give me businesses in my local area that yes, support yes. the app? Uh, I mean, you, you remember, we are a startup and we yeah. are just uh, announcing our launch at CS. We have, we have a dozen of businesses in Arizona that they are currently, they've been helping us the last uh, year with our beta and uh, they have mm -hmm. been really excited. Uh, we interview uh, several, uh, several people that they've been trying it. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, back to your point with uh, uh, not knowing what to give, uh, it's really a big problem. Like, I, and I had this conversation with... Uh, one of our people on the team a couple of days ago, and he says, you know, I mean, the guy is 38 years old, and he says, man, I, I gave my wife a gift on Christmas, and uh, I, I, was, I was excited because I knew she likes these types of gifts, uh, and when she opened it up, she literally went uh, quiet, and she started crying, mm -hmm. and I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? What happened? She goes, uh, he goes, I, I knew she likes this type of games, and apparently the game I gave her it's uh, the game that uh, she got as a kid and she was failing to succeed and make it happen. And she immediately got overwhelmed and she started crying. And uh, I, I felt so bad, he says, that um, it really hurt my feelings uh, like to a point that I felt extremely bad. And um, that's one of the reasons I love Gift Up because now you have a way to know ahead of time what your friends like. And the beauty is that uh, some of our users, they said that uh, when you are having a bad day, it's amazing that your friends can instantly send you a coffee from your favorite local place that only costs five bucks and they can instantly change your mood. Yeah. And that's the feeling we're trying to transfer with friends and family. And if anybody wants to send me five bucks out there just to change my mood, I'd certainly appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing they need, Chris, is, is your phone number. Even, even if you don't have the app, mm -hmm. and they can find a place in your area that uh, they randomly picked up a gift card and they send you. The mm -hmm. only thing they need, to, they need to have is your phone number. The gift card will come to your phone. You will receive a, a link that says, uh, Anastasio Stilker sends you a gift card from your favorite uh, wine bar. And uh, you will download the app, and the gift card will be uh, will show up in your uh, in your wallet. Dude, this is this is awesome, man! You're revolutionizing. You're disrupting those stupid card bins at the store. <laughs> man. This is this is way easier because I've had to go down there, and you're just like, I gotta get a gift for somebody. Oh, I gotta go down to the card thing, and then you gotta go in the store, and you're like, Where's your stupid card thing? And you gotta <laughs> wander around. Oh, it's over there. And then sometimes they have like multiple shelves. They're like on the ends of the grocery thing. And you're like, oh, it's not on this one. They're like, oh, it might be on that one over there. 
And then usually they're like so huge. You're like, oh my God, why, is there an index here? Like none of these are alpha. It's just like, I just have to look for the logo or something. So I love what you guys are doing. This is pretty disruptive. Uh, according to the app and the about us, it says a gifter app. Our vision is to inspire a gift-giving culture of joy, kindness, and, and happiness. What a wonderful way to start 2020. Our mission is to create technology that amplifies sharing joy while supporting local businesses and communities while bringing joy to online communities. Nice. Acts of kindness are certainly wonderful. And I love how you guys have got it, it uh, uses your location to coagulate all the different businesses that are in your area that either have signed up for a gift three or gift or app, I call it, uh, or you can invite those uh, companies to join. So you can press a button. Uh, I'll just hold it up there. I don't know if uh, that'll come up very well in our. That, that looks there. good. That looks yeah, there really you go. Good. And, uh, and you can, so you can click in invite to join and uh, send a message to your favorite company. Like, Hey, I need, I want to send gift cards from you. So do that. And then uh, and there you go. And of course, you've got a search. You've got coffee shops, which are my favorite. So you've got a search element where you can search different things within the app uh, out there in the thing. I think that might just blow out with the brightness of it. But you get the idea. It's a Google map, basically, and it's got a, an assortment of different locations that are on it. Uh, you've got a list of your gifts that you've taken and, I believe, gifted to people. So you can keep track of all their gifts. Does it let you know when people do it? Uh, it, it, it allows you to uh, check out, it, the, 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 the app allows you to send a personalized text message as mm -hmm. well as a picture or a video. So you mm -hmm. can take a fun video with the gift with your friend or, you, you know, your family and send it over. Nice. And uh, at the same time, it tells you the location of the place that you can redeem it. And it allows you to see the, uh, the text message from the person that sent it to you as well as the picture and the video. And instantly it allows you to access their personal wish list in case you want to return the, uh, the feeling of joy back uh, with mm -hmm. uh, accessing their uh, wish list. So um, we try to kind of keep that uh, human element. And one of, our, uh, one of the problems that we think, uh, again, back to our anthropologist, Alex, that we think that is going to be changing with this new decade we are entering is with all these new Google Glasses, Facebook Glasses, Microsoft mm -hmm. Glasses, uh, we are going to enter a new era of uh, a new digital era, uh, like the movie, uh, what's the movie with Ready Player One? Mm -hmm. People will be on a virtual world. So our mission is how can we keep this ancient human tradition that goes back to prehistoric times, keep that feeling of joy alive by connecting people. So that's one of the things that uh, we are kind of focusing to make sure we keep that feeling alive and instant, instant joy. And I like what you're talking about earlier where you can actually in here, you can re-gift, you can press a button and re-gift the app. And you were talking about your Home Depot thing and you were like, what, you know, we'd really like to, you know, be able to give that away to somebody. And so I love that. So if somebody gives me like a gift and I'm like, well, I'm not a coffee drinker, you know, whatever it is, uh, you can take and re-gift that thing and uh, let somebody else deal with it. <laughs> yes, yes. So that's, that's pretty awesome. And then I, it, I see how it pulls in my contacts uh, with the permissions, of course, you guys asked for them. And it yes. pulls my contacts in. I can search for my contacts and I can invite them to join the app as well. I love that feature where I can create a photo or a video to people. So it's just not, it's just like, here's a card, stupid. I can make like a little video, like I care. And, and here's a card and have fun with that. And thanks. So it's got like, well, I can't show you this because it, I'd be disclosing phone numbers and contacts, but um, it's got like an invite section and you can just push the invite section. It's got a list of all my contacts here and, uh, and then you can have people, you know, get, they're all hooked up. I love this. This is way better than, um, you know, going down to the store, hustling down the store. You got everything right in your hand. It's the virtual stuff. Um, and then, uh, and then if you're a business, this is something you want to look into because, um, do you guys have like a setup or stickers people can have at a business where they can be like, you know, Hey, for gifts, uh, you know, go to the gifter app and all that stuff. Yes. We, we are working closely with uh, local businesses and as a local uh, restaurant tour for 14 years, I, it's really hard to sell to local businesses. They don't really want to listen. We don't want to listen most of the times unless, unless you have a really good value proposition that, yeah. uh, it will actually make me money. 
And uh, one of the things that I think uh, I've learned in the restaurant industry, the best way to maximize your profits, uh, pretty much with any business you have, is with your own customers. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, what we are doing with Gifter, we are allowing those local businesses to sign up on the platform uh, and uh, get their customers to, to join the app so they can mm -hmm. buy gift cards. But the beauty of that, when you when you favor it, when you add a, when you are a customer of a business and you add uh, uh, your local business into your wish list, it immediately lets your friends know that oh. you love to support this business. So it has and, that social uh, spectrum. It has that social networking. spectrum that uh, it it lets the business once you create a wish list from a local business and you add them on your wish list. Now your friends are gonna come and send you gift cards from that business, right? Mm -hmm. It also, uh, that's a new feature we're trying to hopefully finish up as soon as possible. It, it, lets the, it sends the business a notification and says, you know what, Chris just sent you a few hundred bucks from his friends buying gift cards right now. Why don't you uh, send Chris a gift card as a thank you from your own business? Mm -hmm. So we are trying to kind of give uh, enough value proposition to the business to uh, enhance their uh, margins through the current customers they have. I'm going to go invite nope. everybody who's around me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it, it, we can see this on the board behind you, but I'll read it off the screen from your website. It, uh, you have some stats here. 91% of consumers surveyed have purchased a gift card. So, you know, that's a popular thing. I know I have a lot of gift cards. I've gotten lots of gift cards. I, you got to be crazy to be a business and not tap into this. 69% uh, of consumers have purchased a gift card for themselves. Um, I guess, you know, if you're lonely enough, you buy a gift. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> see, you know, I mean, I know I have to buy a Starbucks card every now and then. 74% uh, of consumers surveyed said they buy gift cards from small business. And you're right. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's something that you can't compete. Like, I don't even know if, if I, I've always been a small business. I wouldn't even know who the hell to call to get in those big cardboards. Um, and it probably costs a fortune. Uh, gift cards are good for your business. $45 is the average amount uh, people spend per gift card. Uh, $59 is the average amount spent over the value of a gift card. So, you know, that's it, the gift card gives them that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like that cue or that uh, sort of put up or you know it's basically it maximizes your profits <clears throat> without even having to move a finger yeah that's the beauty of a gift card and uh, one of the things that uh, you know with our financial partners we if a business sells a thousand dollars in gift cards today our financial partners deliver their money next day so for me it's uh, probably the most powerful tool in every business is the gift cards and yeah. then i just send you a hundred dollar gift card when you go in most probably, and if you've seen it from your personal experience, you are going to spend $59 average more on top of the gift card value. So the business maximize their profits without even having to do anything. Yeah. And plus, you get a chance of getting new business and, and that new business can turn into repeat business for you. Uh, you know, I've, I've had sometimes where somebody gives me a gift card and they're like, hey, dude, there's like five bucks on this. Knock yourself out. I don't. <laughs> whatever and then you like you say i go in and spend 50 bucks and then maybe it's the first time i ever experienced that place and i'm like wow i love this place i should come back thanks for the gift card um 90 percent uh, is the percentage of people who return to a business after yeah. going for the first time with the gift card so there you go uh i mean you gotta be crazy i mean open the door for new new business referrals because you know the one thing i've been in all the years that i've been in business i'm sure that you feel the same way referrals are such an important part of your business and getting new business and developing repeat customers and so the hardest thing to do is to get those new customers you pay like a ton of money between ads and facebook ads and you know the old days for me it was yellow pages um <laughs> I I remember those. <laughs> yeah I remember, you know, and you're like i got it we gotta we gotta buy like a giant page ad on the on the yellow pages but um the you spend so much time in acquisition and this gives your clients a uh, great way to do the referral basis if they refer it you know they like it you know one of the problems i have is i always i always hunt through yelp to find stuff to eat and i'll tell my friends i'll be like hey man you know, uh, I found this great restaurant on Yelp. What is it? It's that burger place right over there. Where is that? Where is it on Yelp? I can't find it on Yelp. Yep. And then yeah, I'm like, it's 
Chubby's Burgers. And they're like, well, there's two different Chubby's. Is it with the IE or the Y? That literally happened to me recently. And, and I, it would be easy to be like, hey, fuck it. I'm going to send you 25 bucks. Just, just go there and here's the thing. It's got the address on it. Have fun. <laughs> knock yourself out. Um, and so I'm constantly doing that. I do, I do a lot of Yelp reviews. Mm -hmm. um any anytime i go someplace new or i i go someplace that i feels worthy or not worthy um i do a yelp review and i try to be pretty fair about it i go i go there a couple times to make sure i i got a good you know i'm a reviewer uh on the thing supercharge your brand um so i i think this is brilliant and i think uh i think you guys really got a cutting edge thing i've seen a few different versions of like gift card apps but i've never seen things that are doing like you guys you guys are like the yelp of gift card apps we do um, have a nice value proposition and another cool feature we have is uh and i, I love that you support local businesses with your, your reviews i mean pe people are very powerful and uh, most of the times people do want to help the local businesses how to get better yeah uh, we also, you know, as you search and discover, we also allow local businesses to instantly set up a discount on a specific gift card. Mm -hmm. So if a business is promoting discounted gift cards, we allow them, uh, we allow users as they search and discover local businesses. If you are having a gift card, you don't have to pay us for promotion, just set up a discount and your, mm -hmm. uh, and your, your business will show up first, uh, on, oh, wow. uh, on, on search results, uh, uh, on our platform. Oh, that's going to be great for the ladies. They're always looking for discounts. Like, oh my God. Yes. My mom's funny. She's, she's <laughs> like, my mom's funny. She's like, we got to go to the store and do this thing. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, why? She goes, they're having a discount on shampoo. And you're like, didn't you, don't you have shampoo? Yeah, I have shampoo, but they're doing the discount. So you got to get it now. And you're like, really? Yes. Um, but that's, you know, that's how people work. I mean, I used to sit in cruise Groupon back in the day and, <laughs> and every now and then I get into it and I'm just, and I'll see something and I'll be like, ah, I never buy that, but ah, it is a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> I go ahead and I go ahead and nail that to the wall. And of course, when it comes to the burgers and fries, <laughs> of course. Of um, course. so this is brilliant. If you're a business out there and you're trying to expand your uh, uh, wares with uh, your income and your customer base for a restaurant, especially if you're a small uh, business in your area, of course, uh, you can't, it can't hurt to have that locality. Uh, there's the map on there. Uh, you know, my biggest thing is wherever I'm at, I'm like, where's food within, you know, a mile of here. So um, that helps bring a lot of people in. And then you've, you know, you've got the business side of it where people can uh, sell their, sell their, um, sell their gift cards. And then you've got the givers receivers. I love the reshare or the re-gift sort of aspect of it where you can be like, well, I'm not really an Italian food lover. And do they know if I re-gift it? Does it tell the original person to give it to me that I re-gifted it? Uh, it, it, keeps, it keeps giving. I mean, okay. uh, we, we can track, the business can track where the gift is at any kind of moment. But, but can but, the person who, if a person gave me a gift card, can, will they know that I, well, that motherfucker re-gifted <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they they won't know you're oh, gifted. They won't know you're gifted, even though we have uh, we we have some thoughts around the gift giving uh, yeah. to keep give uh, keep the keep uh, keep the gift uh, uh, pushing forward, because you know that is um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Maori indigenous peoples in uh, New Zealand, mm -hmm. uh, the Maori indigenous uh, people of uh, the Polynesian people of New Zealand. They they call this element of the spirit. They call it uh, how. H A U, and it literally means the spirit of giving. Where they talk about the spirit of uh, generosity, kindness, love, uh, and uh, it's what compels the receiver to want to give back and reciprocate the feelings of joy. So um, there is another thing that they call it the kula ring. That it goes back to another uh, indigenous culture where people are. Uh, exchange travel hundreds of miles on canoes from one island to another oh. to exchange uh, a necklace uh, and mm -hmm. if the gift is a necklace they will give you back a wristband mm -hmm. but if i if i'm correct and don't quote me on that i think the necklace uh, the people of the tribe the, the the chief of the tribe let's say they will choose a bead and each bead has an uh, has a gift value on it Oh, and wow. then they, they used to keep giving it and then they will go from one tribe to another, stay there for a while and then keep giving it. So the gift, it always some, some, it has something 
that everybody wanted to participate yeah. and the, be part of it. The gifts that keep on giving, I guess, if you will. Bravo. Yeah. So we want to kind of uh, focus on uh, designing the way that it always finds ways to enhance that feelings of joy that we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, going back to talking about the business, we also offer a free version of uh, our platform because, like I said, local business, we want to see the value. Yeah. So this is the value. Uh, because, you know, with everything that is out there right now, you have some uh, food delivery companies. They send you an order. They take 25, 30% from your money. It, it's, uh, they are extremely painful for, for small local businesses where give, take that much, but give the local business, empower them where they want to stay with you and yeah. keep, keep that relationship, you know, in, in, a, in a transparent and genuine way, you know, because it's not all about money. You know, yeah. we all want to make money, but at the same time, we want to make a difference that in, it's, it's really touching people's, uh, you know, uh, people's hearts and people's business at the same time. Yeah. So, I, think, I think it's a, it's a, it's a really high-minded sort of thing that you're trying to do there and, of course, change the world and make people give more. Um, I, I've certainly, I've been on the receiving end and gifting end of, you know, sometimes I've gone through the Starbucks line and, you know, and this happened to me a lot in Vegas somebody would pay for the last two cars or something behind them and you'd pull up and they'd be like the person in front of you paid for yours and the person behind you. And, uh, you'd be like, okay, well just here's 20 bucks. You know, let's, uh, what, I forget what the term for it is, but you know, just pass it, it on down it the paid, line. Paid forward. Paid, paid forward. forward. There you go. We, and, we uh, so if with businesses, if I'm a restaurant, you, you've got like a probably reporting back end website where I can see you, you, you kind of alluded to that earlier where I can see all the you know, usage, sales, all that sort of good stuff. Yes, yes. Businesses have access to our uh, payment processor uh, mm -hmm. uh, back end as well as our, uh, our gifted app uh, back end. Mm -hmm. Where uh, you know it takes, uh, it will literally take three minutes to set up, uh, three, three clicks to set up your gift cards. Uh, Wow. Uh, it will take you 10, 15 minutes to fill up the application and uh, wait about 24 to 48 hours. Uh, we have a, an approval process that uh, our businesses have to go through our uh, payment partners. Mm -hmm. Since we are in a very um, highly regulated uh, industry, we need to make sure that uh, the receiver is uh, the person who is signing up, the business is the legitimate businesses. Uh, um, and the businesses have access uh, to the back end where they can also, the free version I mentioned before, businesses can uh, issue a, a link uh, from the back end where they can attach uh, $55 gift cards and send a promotion to their customers where customers can instantly download the gift card and go into the business. And there is a difference between a $5 gift card and a $5 coupon, mm -hmm. you know? And customers know that, and usually with the testing we've done, people will come back to the business on an average about 45 to 60 days. And they usually spend that uh, extra amount from 85 to 100% more on top of the gift card value. And we've seen uh, some of the business we have, like uh, we got a very positive feedback uh, overall. And don't take me wrong, at the beginning, it's hard to kind of show the value proposition uh, about the. Um, uh, the product we have created, and as you have seen, you said, like, this is not your average way of delivering a gift card. So mm -hmm. it was hard to explain to the business owners what we do, but the moment they will download the app and they will see what exactly and how it does it, they recognize the value because they know their customers. They know their needs. Mm -hmm. So... We're hoping that uh, people uh, will open up their arms and uh, welcome us in a positive and a kind way, like, you know, like we want to be welcome. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. So you guys are going to be at CES. You're going to have a booth there. Do you have your booth number so people can get that? Uh, yes. Our booth number is uh, 52957 at the Venetian. We are exhibiting at uh, Eureka Park, uh, Suns Expo. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we will be there. We're excited. Uh, <clears throat> Um, we have our uh, anthropologist uh, coming in, uh, our uh, um, Chido, our payment expert that uh, she's been in the payment industry for the last 25 years. And uh, she, was, she was part of the team that they pioneered the e-commerce payments back in uh, 1995. Uh, Chido Collins, uh, uh, Dr. Alex Karkodis will be there coming actually from the island of Cyprus. He's flying in. Oh, wow. um, 
And uh, one of the cool things that we have on the team, Chris, is that, uh, uh, you know, I've been working on this project for the last uh, 26 months. And uh, I tried to bring uh, friends that uh, they were from my circle of friends that I've met through my restaurants. And uh, people that I've been talking to about this, uh, they, they, um, they took the initiative and uh, they were willing to give their time and uh, knowledge and talent unconditionally uh, for the last uh, year uh, to offer something in the team and to me to put the project together. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we kind of, this, this culture of unconditional giving is what we're trying to kind of preach and uh, pass to the world. Nice. And uh, you can see that from, you know, Gary V, Oprah, Will Smith, Warren Buffett, Lady Gaga, they've been talking about this love, this spirit of love. This spirit is not about becoming successful. It's not about all the media that we see what we see. It's all about touching somebody else's life. Mm -hmm. How can you make a difference in one person's life and feel fulfilled? Feel that joy of that gift of, you know, based on science right now, we know that uh, people give to charities People that as you get older, you understand the power of giving and uh, it has been proven that it helps us be, be happier and also be healthier. Nice. So we want people to recognize those small acts of kindness. And, you know, like the gift card industry is a $116 billion industry in the yeah. States that is due to triple over the next uh, four, five, six years, I believe. And uh, it, it's no doubt that people want to give and they want you to experience that joy, but it happens to be in a form of a plastic gift, right? Mm -hmm. Or an electronic. Yeah. So our mission is to enhance that feeling instantly, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the people we, pretty much everybody we talked to, they had their own way of, uh, okay, I'm going to use it like that. You know, talking yeah. to people in the restaurant industry that they serve in the restaurant industry, they work, you know, these people, we work five, six, seven days, they work in the restaurant industry. And when you have a birthday, like some of the people we interviewed, they said, I just don't have time to buy my little niece something. Yeah. Now I can instantly share a gift from that place. We also had uh, several uh, teachers that we interviewed from uh, high schools that uh, on a teacher's appreciation day, what do you do? You get uh, several gift cards from big corporate companies and it's always the same. Mm -hmm. Where now, all these kids can give something to the teacher that is more personable. Mm -hmm. We also talk to nonprofit organizations. Uh, we want to work with them and we want to be able to touch as we go and move forward. We want to be part of the movement that Jeff Bezos uh, started. Mm -hmm. You know, he donated $2 billion uh, to help the homeless community and school communities over the next, I think, what, 10 years? Yeah. So... Facebook, everybody's trying to make a social impact. So how can we, the people, be able to donate five bucks, the ones we are able to donate five bucks, and at the same time, instantly make a difference into our homeless community, into our local communities, you know? Mm -hmm. So how can we, the people, be part of that bigger picture and vision of uh, uh, we want to help, we want to be part of a social uh, uh, of the social influences that are trying to make a difference. Yeah. So on a, on a later, uh, you know, version of gifted up. That is awesome, dude. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, so this is pretty cool. You can go to gift three R app.com that's gift three R app.com. And, uh, if you're a business, you can download it. I think this is a brilliant idea. Oh, one other thing I want to mention, you mentioned about how, you know, when some people get a gift card, they get a plastic card. That thing gets lost. Like half the time I'm going to a restaurant and I'm like, has anybody seen the restaurant card? Like, yeah, I know it was here somewhere and you know, it's under the seat of my car or something, you know? And then finally I'll just be like, oh, screw it. I'll just go pay full price. Um, and, uh, and then of course, you know, it shows up when you don't want it. And then when you do want it, it's gone. So the nice thing about this is that it's contained on your phone. And uh, I imagine, you know, it, you know, a business doesn't have to pay to make plastic cards for the thing with a little scratch off thing in the back. I always looked at those. I'm like, how much do people pay for this? 
Um, but uh, so it's, it makes it uh, harder for them to lose the cards. The value's there. They can always have it. They can re-gift it, everything else. And, of course, if you're a giver receiver, one of the first things I'm going to do now that I have the app is I'm going to go invite all the local people to join it so that I can have them at the ready if I want to give a gift. Because I've told so many people, there's a few places that I moved. I, I recently came up to Utah to write a book. And uh, I, so I got a chance to try some new restaurants. And uh, nice. so I was like, hey, have you tried that Cubby's burger? There's a Cubby's burger that's really good. And people are like, yeah, oh, no, I haven't tried it. And I'm like, you really should. And they're like, okay, well, and then they'll call me later and be like, what was that? What was that? And it's like, you know, here's five bucks or 10 bucks or 20 bucks. Five bucks. Go, just go treat yourself. Have a good time. And then, you know, maybe if they like it, they'll, they'll send me one back because <laughs> yep, yep. God knows I need more burgers. Um, so you guys are going to be at CES. If you guys are doing CES, go into the sands, the Eureka parks down there. Uh, I think it's on the, like the second level down to the main floor. And uh, there's a lot of great companies that are down there. A lot of innovative stuff, cutting edge technology that uh, they're basically uh, going to be the future disruptors. I mean, I think the future Amazons and Microsofts are all down there in your <laughs> park at one point in time. And so you can visit with you guys, check out the app and all that good stuff and uh, download it. And you can get a course on iPhone, the iOS system for the app store and the Google app store. And you can put on your phone there as well and invite your friends to it. So, uh, you know, sharing, caring is good, right? Sharing, caring, and spreading some love. <laughs> spreading some love and feeding some people, damn it. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and all that good stuff. Anything more we need to know before we let you go? Um, no, we are excited to be part of uh, your show. Thank you for having us. We are excited to see you and meet you at uh, CES uh, next week. Uh, um, we are hoping people will uh, open their arms and uh, download and uh, give Gift Arab a chance and see how we can uh, all make a difference, uh, uh, not only to us, but also to our uh, local communities and uh, local businesses. Uh, we are all about the spirit of giving. And uh, we are ready to, to make a difference. That'll be awesome. And if you guys watch the uh, hashtags we'll be putting out across the show, uh, usually pound CES, CES uh, 2020 will be the other hashtag. And I think CES show. There's a few of them that we use, though. I think there's also a CES show 20. It's a bit of one of ones are being popular. So you'll see us outputting the show. This, of course, will be on the podcast. And then uh, at the booth, we'll be doing a booth interview. So you get to see the Gifter app booth. Uh, see all the guys in it. We'll be doing some interviews, see what you guys are doing there on the floor and all that good stuff. So if you're at the show, be sure to go check them out at Eureka Park. If you're not, just search pound CES. You can monitor what's going on. If you see the hashtags come by, and of course, we'll be tagging their Twitter. What's your guys' Twitter account, by the way? Uh, it's uh, at gifterup. Uh, gift gift okay, at gifterup. Uh, yes. All right. Sounds good. Well, thanks for being on the show with me. It's been wonderful to have you. We should have you on uh, later to talk about our, we have the Startup Unicorn podcast. We should talk about, you know, starting up businesses and starting up, uh, uh, you know, your restaurants and everything else and the experience you go through and lessons and stuff. So I'd love to have you back again. Thanks to my audience for tuning in. We certainly appreciate having you guys. Be sure to uh, go to the CVP end and uh, gift wrap it to your friends. So that they sign up and subscribe to all be, the be podcasts that are out there. And like I say, be sure to tune in. I think on the 6th is when we start going crazy with uh, all the interviews that we're going to be doing. Six, I think it's the 6th through the 10th that the show is. And it's going to be wild, all the different stuff we'll be doing. So thanks, my audience, for tuning in. We'll see you at CS, and we'll see you next time.